Welcome back to JTMJ Crafts, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeremy. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, howdy doody. How's your guys' day going? I hope it is fantastic wherever you may be in this world. If it's a morning, if it's a night, if it's an afternoon, I hope it is fantastic for you. Life has been good in my neck of the woods. Hopefully it's been good for you all. So tonight... We are working on this stunning painting by Captured by Radiance, and it is Sunlit Sanctuary by Adrian Chesterman. Yeah, mouthful. Chesterman. Yeah. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. So this is for my Mother's Day event, and I'm just trying to get some of it worked on. So when it comes time to the event, I don't have a bunch to work on. So, how was your weekend? My weekend was good. If you weren't in my live on Saturday night, you missed it. You have to watch the replay. But I'll kind of recapture a little bit of my Saturday night. Uh, my nephew came over, spent the, the day with me and night with me. And we had an absolute blast. We played video games. We played poker. He was literally kicking my butt all weekend long in poker. Until, I think, the last hand. I ended up won most of my money back. And I was like, finally get a good hand. But we had a blast. We played all kinds of video games. Fun, fun weekend. And then Sunday... I was trying to figure out uh, what to do for a video for Sunday. Then I was like, you know what? Sunday's Easter. I'm going to go spend some time with my family. And I'm sure, pretty sure everybody else is spending time with their family. So I was like, I'm not going to worry about uh, putting a video up on Sunday. Uh, but this week we'll be back to our normal broadcasting schedule that we pulled here. <clears throat> but anyway, so it was a great weekend. I got to be uh, Sunday turned out to be a great Sunday. Um, just spent the weekend here at the house. Uh, me and Trapper Went out back and we cleaned up the back porch area, the cement slab. So the porch sits about here, and then there's a cement slab that sits here, and then Trapper's kennel that sits here. He never uses the kennel anymore, it's just... It's there, so if I need to put a dog someplace, I have a spot to put a dog type of thing. Uh, but right now it's mainly used to keep my wood for the fireplace dry. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so Trapper never uses that kennel anymore because he's gotten older. He doesn't need to be locked up in a kennel. He doesn't need to, uh, be yelled at all the time for trying to chew on a rock or swallow a rock or do something stupid. So I don't have to have him locked up in that anymore. While I'm not home to keep an eye on him. So. We went out back. And we cleaned off everything. Got everything spick and span. It was funny. I left a pile sitting on the cement slab. And I was looking for my uh, dustpan. I was like where is my dustpan? I know my dustpan is usually attached to my broom. But it's not. I'm like I don't know where it's at. I don't know where it's at. Why did I come in the house after the third time of looking for it and find it on top of my fish tank? Yeah, and if you know anything about my house, my fish tank is right by the back door. Why didn't I not see that? Uh, I was like, okay, whatever. But it was funny because I had set that pile there because I couldn't find it. And then I finally found it, and uh, Trapper Doo, 
that's his spot he likes to lay at. So, as the pile's sitting there, his little happy ass goes over there and lays down directly on top of the pile. He's like, I don't even give a, give a crap. There's just chunks of wood over here. There's a big old pile about a foot and a half wide. He's like, I don't care. I'm just going to sit my happy ass down wherever I want to sit my happy ass down at. I was like, oh, jeez, dog. You got to sit right in the pile. He gets up, looks around, moves over to the side a little bit, takes his paw and kind of scruffs it up. And I'm like, you're, you're making a mess. I just cleaned all this. Children. But anyway, so that was pretty much what I did for Sunday. I ended up and played some games. Uh, I haven't been streaming on Twitch because my internet has been bugged out. I don't know what happened to my internet. I don't know if the snow that we got a while back affected my internet, but it's like not worthy of streaming right now. May have to look into upgrading my internet to a better uh, capacity of internet, but the problem with that is right now is I, I spend a hundred and and, uh, what is it? Drink your water, folks. Uh. Mmm. Peach mango. Mmm. So delicious. Uh. Oh, the way my brain doesn't like me. I swear, I cannot stop talking about what I was talking about because my brain goes... Pfft. Oh, I know what I was talking about. I was talking about internet. So, I already pay $120 a month for internet. To me, that's, that's expensive because, like, it's just internet. Just, literally, just internet. I don't pay for TV. I don't pay for anything. It's just internet. So to upgrade my internet to the highest tier, which is 169, I think it is. So, like, almost $170 a month. And I'm just like, Jesus. Y'all out here raping people for internet. I'm just looking, I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss any, pull this this way a little bit, make sure I didn't miss any up here, I got a couple here, so yeah, uh, I, I got some decisions to make, do I, do I switch the internet to a higher tier, do I, I don't, I just don't know what to do. Um, if I switch it to a higher tier, I'm going to have to, uh, hopefully pick up some subscribers with Twitch and, make some extra money to help pay for the, uh, internet. Y'all, my brain is, like, in left field somewhere tonight and I haven't figured out where it is and what it, where it's gone to because I can't stop talking about something and then my my head my just like ugh, left field uh but anyways um uh, I'm pretty sure that's it so, update on my hand. If you guys seen on Instagram, you would see my cat bit me. So, she bit me here. And that's one tooth. And this was the other tooth. And the way she bit me was at this angle. And she bit me here and it just like pinched her teeth together and just pulled across my 
so like this this canine dug in pretty good and then this canine just like ripped straight across my skin because she just grabbed a hold she bit me and then just pulled her mouth back and just like dragged her teeth into my skin she's evil and vindictive but yeah I think I kind of forgive her but then I can go and do something with my hand and I'm like son of a bitch you damn cut uh like today at work I'm working on a big mailing job and uh it's like 35,000 postcards and these postcards always seem to have a lot of powder on them and they always seem to have a curl to them and for me to get the help to get the powder off of them and to help get the curl out of them I have to basically take them and break the spine on it and then like uh, so basically it'd be like this and I'd go like this and then I fan this end out and it would hit this thing and every time I'd be like, ow, ow. So finally I got a big old thing of cotton pad, put it on there, and just took tape and just wrapped my hand in tape. And I was like, yeah, that should hold it. But yeah, it's, it's tender. Tender, tender. I think this one hurts worse because it was, it's so, it was deep. Like that fang was like, like went inside of there. Don't worry, I... I cleaned it out really well. I used uh, antibiotic soap. Uh, 938 antibiotic soap. And. Uh, where's 938? There it is. Um, yeah, antibiotic soap, really good. And. My Xbox controller said boop. Um, and then I put a bunch of... Uh, it's, it's similar to Neosporin, but it's antibiotic ointment. So I put a bunch of that on there. Uh, the day after it happened, or the, the next day after it happened, I went to work and I just smeared a bunch on my hand. And then I put a blue glove on my hand, and I walked around pretty much all day long with a blue glove. My hand was so soft when I got done with work that day. Neosporin was, like, soaked into my my skin. It made it feel smooth. And the sound of silence. Ah, shit. I keep singing. So yeah, it's been a pretty good week so far. Uh, I've hopefully, uh, I'm, and since I'm not doing a live tonight because my internet is whack, I'm supposed to go live Tuesday nights on Twitch, and uh, I just haven't been able to because the internet's been whack. So I'm gonna plan next week to come back, but my plan is is to disconnect. My internet, Wi-Fi, from everything that's in my house and just have it run my uh, computer and see if that helps. And plus I have it hardwired too, so it's not like it's running off of just the Wi-Fi. I have it running off of the hardwired, so it should be like twice as fast. Oh, my manners. Uh, this pin. I got the, uh, I got a diamond stuck to my finger. This pin I got from Enablers Outpost. Did I talk about this? I don't know. No, I don't think I did because I opened, I unboxed this in a live on Saturday. You guys may have missed it, but I unboxed it on a live on Saturday. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got, a uh, green, uh, Puzzle pieces in it. 
I bought it to help out Maui. Their puppy doggy. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love I love their pins. One of my favorite places to buy from. Usually people are asking me about this pin from an April's Outpost. This was one of the first ones that I bought. This one's got pot leaves, otherwise known as marijuana. And believe it or not, I get so many comments on this pen. People all the time are like, where did you get that? I'm like, enablers outpost. They don't have me on their website. Well, well, message them. I'm sure they would make you one. They do customs. My brother and sister from another mother are amazing over there. Just, just give them a message. Reach out to them. But anyways, so, uh, let's see. What else? What was I going to talk about? I had something on my tip of my tongue that I was going to talk about, but I don't remember what I was going to talk about. I, uh, I, I may be a little sugar riddled. Um, I found a big old bag of, uh, um, what do you call those things? Oh, Swedish fish. Big old bag of Swedish fish. I was looking at a, a, a small bag of Swedish fish, like this big. It was like three dollars. Well, I walk around the corner to the other section, and they're they're kind of similar to Swedish fish. They taste just like Swedish fish, but they're like an off brand. And I got a bag like this big, like a pound bag for two ninety nine. I was like, what the hell? Score. I had a handful of them earlier, and then I was like. Okay, no more. I can't eat no more. My stomach hurts. I gorged myself at dinner time, though. So it was good to get a little bit of candy in my system. So yeah, work. I got, I got lots of work to do right now. I got a bunch of mailings to do. Uh, big runs of like... 35 to 40,000 and uh, I'm gonna try to get it done to the, tomorrow. I got about half of it done today. Come on, diamonds. I don't even have any glue. Or, or wax in my single placer. How dare I? Perfect. <sighs> oh, it smells like heaven. Heaven in a twist jar. Or a heaven in a pop top. Uh, if you don't know what I'm using, I'm using Not Your Mom's Mud. This is, uh... Feeling peachy cream it smells like heaven, and it is by far my favorite. It is, it's called a mud, but it's it's a wax substance. I I think it's more waxy than. Well, I don't even know what would you consider a mud. It's not putty. It's way different than putty. It's more of a wax to me than putty. But anyways, you can find that over on Etsy, uh, um, Whimsical Daisy, Whimsical Daisy is my sister Beth is over there, and she makes that, it's one of my favorites, this is like the only stuff that I hardly ever, or the only stuff that I very much love, uh, I don't, I was get tongue tied there, I don't know anymore what the hell I was trying to say over here. It's, it's, like, literally the only thing I use. Every once in a while, I use, uh, something else. But very rarely. It 
So, uh, let me know what you guys are working on down below in the comments. If the comments are off, feel free to message me and tell me that the comments are off so I can fix them because YouTube has a mind of its own with my comments for some reason. Literally, last week I was, after turning my comments on three different times, I was just ready to just punch something. I was just like, why can't I just have my comments on, please? How are they getting shut off? I have no clue. Sorry, I headbutted you guys. Got a weird glare right here. Put my iPad there. Then you can't see the glare. But, uh... Oh, let me give an update on weather, because I know somebody's going to ask how the weather is, because somebody always ends up and asks, how is your weather? Uh, my weather is 100% bipolar. It does not know what it wants to do. Um, literally, the last two days, we've almost been in, in 80 degree days, and then they're talking about rain by the weekend, and then next week, it's supposed to be back up into the 80s. And then rain again by, I think they said the weekend or Thursday, Friday again. And then, like, it goes from, like, being at, like, 55, 56 to, like, practically almost 80 for, like, a day or so. And then back to 55, 56. And then back to 80 for a day or so. And I'm just like, can you please make up your mind? I'm about ready to break out shorts and start wearing shorts to work because it's been so hot. Especially where I'm, work, where I'm working at is very hot. And I'm working right next to a dryer. But, uh... It doesn't know what it wants to do. Our weather is bipolar by far. So, let's see. Uh, update on Trapper Dude. Trapper Dude's making a pretty good recovery with his ear right now, y'all. The ear that's been giving him problems for, like, the last... He just plopped his butt down right behind me. Uh, the ear that he's been having problems with for, like, the last, like, probably close to, like, six months is finally clear. There is no infection in it at all. It's looking absolutely good, clear. Um, yeah, it's looking really good. His other ear is looking about 75% done and cleared up of its infection as well. So he's making a recovery, y'all. I don't know how long this is going to last because these damn ear infections come and go as they please.
All right, I think that is it. And we're going to the next color. Uh, as much confetti heavy as this has been, I've actually kind of been enjoying it. I'm not seeing this color. Number 677. It's not the color I thought it was going to be. 677 is supposed to be this color here. Uh, maybe. In real life, they, these look more like a peach color. But we'll find out, and we'll trust the process as we go. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Funny story about hiccups. My boss walks up to me today. Sorry if, if I get quiet. I have hiccups. They're, they're allergic to... Uh, but my boss walks up to me, asks me a question, hiccups, and walks away. Like, ten seconds after he walks away, I hiccup. Like, three or four times in a row, and I'm like, what the shit? Did you just give me your hiccups? Bro, no, 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 you, you can take these back. I don't like the hiccups. Like, he literally, they were contagious, and he gave them to me. Luckily, they weren't too hard to get rid of. I literally hiccuped up like three or four times, and I was done. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, man. I woke up this morning, and I walked out to the living room. Oh, actually, I was walking to the uh, laundry room to go find some pants and socks to put on. And uh, I get to the f about the fish tank, and I look down at the fish tank, and I see the shell of Lagatha laying upside down. Yeah, uh, the first thing I did was like, <gasps> is she dead? She can't be. Is she really dead? No way. That's sad. Click the light on. I felt like an idiot. It was just her malt because she is a electric blue crayfish and they call it malting. Where they malt out of the shell that they're in. And usually they'll come back along and they'll eat the shell. And it puts a bunch of nutrients and good healthy stuff back into their body. But yeah, it was, it was, it kind of freaked me out this morning when I walked out and seen a, a shell sitting on the bottom of the tank. And I was like, first thing I thought of was she died. And I was like... No, Lagatha, I love you. Lagatha, come back. 
Uh, can you tell I like the Viking show? Yeah. I was obsessed with Lagatha. Man, that show pissed me the F off. Bad. Pissed me off bad. The way they took out... Ragnar, and then the way that they took out Lagatha, I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. To tell you the truth, I quit watching it after, I think after Lagatha died, I was like, I'm done. I can't continue to watch this. You took out two of the best freaking people in the whole show. Yeah, I know it was supposed to be Bjorn's time to take over and lead and all of that. Plus, he's got all of his brothers and everything. But I, I was so pissed off when they took out those main characters. Ugh. So I named my crawfish Lagatha. She reminds me of Lagatha. A lot. Alright, so we did an update on Trapper Do. Trapper Do is doing amazing. I came home today and he was sleeping sound asleep on the floor. I opened the door, I walked in, and he didn't even flinch. I looked right at him, I said, Pikado, Pokacho, Peekaboo, I see you. Nothing. Not a peep, not a head movement, nothing. And I was like, Trapper Doo! Trapper Doo! And he picked his head up and like, Oh, hi, Dad. And he was just like hella tired looking and sleeping. I was like, Don't freaking scare me like that. Answer me when I call you. You understand me? Shit, dog. I thought I came home to my dog dead or something. I was just like, no, not my doggy. That's my dog. I love my dog. God, I have a question for you. Why do dogs live such a short life? Especially big dogs. Littler dogs live a longer life. But why? Why? And I know people are like, it's sad to have to let a baby go, never getting a dog again. I don't care how hard it is to let a dog go. I will always have a dog beside me. I can't live life without a dog. Trust me. I, I, my depression would be so bad. I would literally quit YouTube. I would walk away from everything. I would never come back. I would never see people. I would just I would just be gone. Like I would be hidden in my own little bubble in la la land of depression and I, it would not be good. That's why I have already have plans for another dog. That way, uh, it's not going to be anytime soon because my brother's supposed to breed her. But, uh, she's only like a year and a half or a year and some change. So, it'll be still another two or three years before I get a pup. But, that'll be around the time where Trapper will be like, 
nine. By that time, he should be hopefully chill enough to get a puppy and have him kind of teach, teach it the ropes and protect it and do all the fun things. That's my hope, anyways, because the way Trapper is these days, he's too, he's too hard-headed, he's too bull-headed, he's too, he's too rough. He would just hurt a puppy right now. And I don't need him hurting a puppy. Sorry, I was just spacing off over here thinking about oh, all the memories. All the memories of Trapper as a puppy and all the good times we've had and All the heart aches and breaks and how much money I've spent on this dog. And all he shows me is unconditional love. That's the least I can do for him, right? I know some people are just like, it's a dog, who cares? Yeah, come at me, bro. Shut your mouth. It's not just a dog. here. Man, I keep filling this up, but I keep using a bunch. Static's a bitch, and these... But yeah, I am so, so ready for another dog at that when that point time comes. Kind of have an idea of what I want, what I'm looking for. Well, it'll be good. It'll be good. Teach Trapper to be on his toes. Keep him a little bit more of... Oh, these diamonds are not... Hopefully it gets him out of the old grumpy butt phase and gets him a little bit excited to have a little puppy around him. I don't know. There's wishful thinking, I guess. Sheesh, by that time... My cat, geez, she'll be... She'll be... I think she's 12, 11, going on 12 this year, in June. 
So I don't math. <laughs> I don't math. Uh, so uh, that would make her like. Fifteen-ish years old, maybe fifteen and a half, something like that, which is hard to believe that she's been with me that long. Yep, she's a crazy, psychotic little hoochie mama, but you know what? That's my cat. I love her. Wouldn't change it for the world. Okay, I'm done with that color. So, uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, Thor woke up the other day. Well, I can't really say Thor woke up the other day. I woke Thor up the other day. Uh, it was like five days, I think, without him getting up and eating anything, being active at all. Uh, he's just been laying in the cold air in the cold cage. Um, so, we're four, 165. So I made sure he got up, got some, got some good heat on him. He got up, he ate big old huge bowl of salad. Uh, sat there and drank water for like five minutes. Just having a nice big breakfast. And then he, uh, was able to go to the bathroom, get a bath. Help him get some hydration through a, a nice warm bath. Um, and then he pretty much stayed underneath the, the heat lamp the rest of the day. And then in the evening time, he actually ate crickets for the first time in I don't know how long. Let's see, it's uh, 45 minutes. What else can I talk about? Uh, what else can I talk about? Mm. Hmm. Uh, so, I was asked when I'm going to do my next cooking video. Uh, so cooking videos are going to be the first of the month. And we're only going to do them once a month. That way... They're not, uh... Putting a bunch of content up... About that. It's just going to be once a month. So if you have any requests for anything to be made... Cooking-wise... Leave them in the comments. Let me know what you would like to see. 
I'm in the works of a couple of things. Uh, I just need to put them together and Alright, I guess I'll just let you guys go, because I don't have anything else to talk about. I think I've gone over everything I wanted to talk about with you guys. Try to finish this color real fast, and then I'll let you guys get on, skedaddle, addle, addle, out of here. Alright. Done. Cool beans. So, if there's anything, oops, there's one more. If there's anything you'd like to see me cook, put it in the description box down below. If there's any companies out there that you'd like to tr see me try, Put them in the description box down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see from me. I'm willing to go out and, and check out. Sorry about that. I was getting a little rough with the popping of the back of the tray to get the diamonds out. These diamonds are really staticky. And I don't... Actually, I do have dryer sheets. So I have to go get a dryer sheet and put some in there. But that's it for today, folks. I will be back Saturday night live. Crafters Oasis is what I call it. Come on over, hang out with us, 8 p.m. Pacific time. And as always, don't forget on Tuesday, or not Tuesday night, Wednesday night, I go live on Riding with Fire. It is... Uh, in the description box down below, the link for that. And I do wood burning. Let me cover this up before I stick my hand in it somewhere. And uh, we do wood burning every Wednesday night live. You guys can come over, watch, learn, ask questions. Feel free. I'm always available to ask questions. But look at that sparkle. A, a, B, there's a bunch of ABs, 666 six, six ABs through here. Diamond wasn't sitting down all the way. But anyway, so that's it for me today, folks. I really appreciate each and every one of you coming back and watching once again. And if you're interested in the Mother's Day event, there was a video I posted uh, like a week ago, a little over a week ago, about the Mother's Day event. Go watch it. Come over. Hang out with us during the beginning of May when we kick off the event. Until next time, have peace, have love, and respect for all. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day. Adios, amigos.